I'm Haley. I'm a third year med student and I'm going to discuss today on what you should do to prepare for medical school if you had just been accepted. So first off, congratulations. That's a huge accomplishment. It's very exciting. Um, I have a ton of DMs of people saying like, oh, I just got accepted. Like how should I prepare? What should I do? One, don't, don't study. Um, don't try to, you know, look up material or get ready for school. That's I don't know, it just doesn't, you don't need to do that unless your school has some sort of weird quiz that they're grading when you um, get there. You could study for that, but usually, I mean, I, th I can't remember if we had a quiz or something. I don't think it would be worth a lot towards your grade. I just recommend not studying at all. Enjoy your free time, you know, hang out with your friends, your family, do things you've always wanted to do like traveling or go see, you know, sites or whatever that you wanted to do. Um, you know, watch Netflix. I binged Netflix a lot during the time um, from when I was accepted to before I started med school because I didn't have that time. Hang out with your friends, you know, do whatever. Go to concerts, enjoy your free time because you're not going to get a lot of it once you start med school. Um, so after that, next, I would recommend joining your school's Facebook group for um, your graduating class and maybe the upperclassmen as well. Um, the upperclassmen will typically post things like, oh, I'm selling this and this and like all these materials for med school if you want it. So I recommend that. And then joining your class's Facebook group is good if you need to find a roommate or um, a place to live, things like that. Um, I recommend doing that because if you have a roommate, that's probably the best way to do it is find someone in your class. Unless you don't want to, that's also fine look up apartments and everything and figure out um, just look up apartments and figure out where you'll be living because that's pretty important you have to sign a lease and everything making sure you know you're doing that on time um so what's next so next is your materials so i had actually like i said joined the facebook group and i had um upperclassmen say that they're selling their used textbooks pretty cheap it was like all the textbooks all these supplemental materials um they gave me like desk lamps, like all this stuff. So, and it was pretty cheap. I think it was like $300 for all my textbooks um, and a couple extra things that they had given me, like an extra lab coat for um, anatomy lab, things like that. So um, I recommend doing that because it's just cheaper. You can also wait, which um, I kind of wish I would have done because it could have saved me some money. I'd bought in the textbooks and then when I got into class and started, everyone had PDFs of all the textbooks. Um, on like a Google Drive or like a flash drive or something and they shared it with our whole class. So you probably don't even need to buy any textbooks or supplemental material. I'm sure there's a drive floating around with some of them. Um, next, so make sure your laptop is up to date because you'll need a good one. Um, I had just kept my MacBook Air from like undergrad and I ended up getting a new laptop my second year med school before I started studying for boards. So you can do that as well. Um, I ended up getting a Lenovo Yoga, Yoga, Lenovo Yoga laptop. Um, and I love it. It converts into a um, tablet. You can write on it. So it's very nice, lightweight. Um, and I like that. And the only reason I did that was because my MacBook was slowing down a lot. I like, could barely open the PDFs without it freezing. So I just traded it in. <laughs> um, you should also get a hard drive, like a flash drive. Things so you can put all your files on it because my computer always runs out of space or you can get one with a ton of space in there but like I said I just recommend getting an external hard drive so that you can you know exchange files with everyone a little bit easier if you wanted to set up your laptop you could so it's ready to go um, like you could download like OneNote that's what I take my notes on um, it's like a Microsoft thing like um, OneNote, and then there's like Word, Excel, things like that. You could also just do Google Docs. A lot of people use this one app for their MacBook called, um, I think it's called GoodNotes. They use it on their iPad a lot. Very similar to OneNote. I think they do the exact same, but you have to pay for that app. Um, OneNote and everything was free um, on my laptop. And you get like a bunch of storage space through, I think it's called OneDrive is the Microsoft. Um, storage so i really like that i like my OneNote. you can record notes in it as well and 
Um, I usually just upload PDFs or like notes and slides and take notes on it and you can record things like if you're in lecture and stuff. So that was really helpful. I, I liked that. So you could set that up. You could wait as well. If you have to move far, like I did, I moved across the country. I went to school or med school in Florida and I was from the Midwest. So I had to drive. Um, I just bought all my stuff once I got to Florida. Um, I actually bought all my things used from an upperclassman and whatever I didn't have. I went to Goodwill and got. Um, so I had purchased like mattress, bed frame, a really big desk, a nice desk chair, um, little nightstands. I'm trying to think of what else. I don't know that he, he sold me a ton of stuff and really cheap because the mattress he said he got from Amazon brand new before. Like it was only a couple years old and it was $300 off of Amazon. I'm pretty sure I paid like less than $400 for all the bedroom stuff, including the bed frame. And it came with all my like studying supplies as well. So that was really cool. Um, I recommend doing that if you don't care. Otherwise, I think just getting a lot of stuff from Amazon. Uh, bought things from Goodwill like dishes, cups, um, cooking stuff, pots, pans, everything like that that I needed. Um, next would be, you can get like your stethoscope, your otoscope and everything. Um, our school actually had like a little sale for us and it was actually a fundraiser for one of the clubs. So you could wait till you get there. Some of my classmates had gotten them as gifts from their family members when they were accepted. So you can do that as well. Um, but sometimes they'll recommend like certain stethoscope, like for your clinical education or a certain like type of otoscope i'm not sure but you you can buy it before or you can just wait till you get to school i waited um i'm not sure what the price difference was i can't even remember how much i paid i think it, they're expensive um i have heard of people getting them from amazon and i have heard of people just not buying anything they just bought a stethoscope and then they would just borrow one of their friends like otoscope or the ophthalmoscope for the eyes um so i'm not sure because I don't even use those during clinical rotations. I only use the stethoscope. Um, so you can do do whatever you want, whatever you think best. You could probably just wait and get it there. All right, well, thank you guys for listening. Um, congrats again on getting into med school. That's super exciting. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can you know comment on this video or you can DM me on Instagram, anything like that. Um, all right, thank you.